Okay, so this is a four star and soul path with our two star Samira. Let's do this. Okay, let's see what power he has. Okay, unyielding determination. Probably the most difficult one. Anyways, this is our third attempt. We're still gonna try it, yeah. Him being difficult makes no difference to us. We don't have been making to, making it to him. Actually, we did make it to him last time. This is the third attempt, right? Yeah, last time we made it, but... <laughs> create, a, create a cast cost one less. Not the greatest, but... Having an early game squad is very nice. Also, draw is very nice. We have cross energy somewhat okay okay this it's a debate between these two okay but i'm gonna take this one the thing the reason i'm taking care here is because we do have creative cards in the deck so playing creative cards is not that difficult and double bodies is more valuable at the start it's more aggressive uh aggressive style catering than the plus one plus one when we draw plus one plus one when we draw is more difficult at the start yeah so we'll just play this one so this one is a created, so this will get plus one plus one. Okay. So bullet into bullet. As you can see why this is super. Gear heads are nice. This is also created now. This is also created now. So this is giving me plus two plus two at least. Unlucky. Okay, play this. And this one. Okay, so next turn they're gonna go to this. But if I play these, they're gonna level up. She's gonna level up. Leveling up, leveling up doesn't actually make a difference. We don't really get any value out of it. So might as well just close next and let it reset. It's fine. Yeah, split. I don't need to play anything. Just swing. Oh, this is a focus. I forgot about that one. Okay, it's still fine. You can just do this. Where did she get the spell shit from? It's fine. Yeah, we'll take it. So yeah, gearheads are going to be super good for us at the start. It helps in more aggressiveness than drawing gives plus one plus one. Drawing gives plus one plus one is conditional. Whereas the gearheads value will always be there. Okay. Okay, this one or this one? This one, this one. This one is pretty good. Quick attack challenger. It's nice. Two mana quick attack challenger. Okay, our support squad. Very important. I have played MF with this one. It's pretty nice. These are uh, these cards are pretty early base cards. So I will take it. Okay. So, slot pot. Shop. Grand Plaza. Shop will get priority. Unyielding determination. Uh, yeah. Or a power overwhelming Tom Kench power overwhelming Tom Kench is always less painful. The power order is always unyielding power, power overwhelming, then mana flow, then unyielding determination. Oh no, perfect mana flow, unyielding determination, unyielding determination, and uh, uh, duplicate are quite painful together. Okay, this guy has Ia yeah now. Uh, I don't really want this. Actually, looking for Ia. Yeah. Either we're gonna get Samira or, the, or MF because we are level 21 now. So that's nice. You never have to worry about champion because you always have a champion. But we definitely want uh, Samina to be in our hand more than MF. Okay, it's our attacking turn. We'll play this. Uh, I'll put challenger on Samira. And swing. And just give it here. I'll just take her, take this thing out. But the second time we will throw him back into the deck with Swamp, I guess. This is what's more important. Okay, now we'll keep one thing in mind. Why is it zero mana? Next damage. Hmm? Okay, anyways, we actually don't know. Anyways, okay, we have two by six. There's no way we can play four cards this turn, right? But we can at least minimum play three, right? So you just do this. Do this. And we'll keep it. Okay, we need another one for a three, right? We need another one for a three. So let's just do this. Everyone gets plus one, plus one. So gears are, gears are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Way better than I thought it could be. So we'll just swing. No, not, no reason not to. We have man advantage. Swinging in. Yeah, so this is actually nice. Okay, this is the first time I'm having gear head combo, so... Yeah. I'm quite surprised, but I, this is actually very good. Lucky for 
Yeah, the gear hits are super good. Okay, one extra damage. This is too slow. I would rather take this one. One extra damage and stun. Okay. Let's see what we can get. Nothing great here. Let's look at the power. Uh, Inform copy of the champion is pretty nice. I'll take it. 2 MF on the board is pretty good. Okay, spells and champion enrichment. Uninstable inventory and unyielding revenge. Unstable inventory can get super dangerous. If they get some random as a equipment attachment that it will, you know, F you up. Okay, throw this one, throw this one, throw this one. Keep this one. I'll keep the scout for the time being and keep a low mana unit for the time being. But we'll always have a champion, so we're not too worried. Okay, so this time we didn't get Samira. We got Samira. As you can see, inventory. So we just put the thing on. Okay, now they technically can't attack here. Yeah. Okay, we'll definitely play MF. Question is, do we discount it and play MF? That's the question. Okay. Actually, we don't need to discount or this will be... You will lose value there. Okay, so yeah, we'll keep this open. So swing in. This is actually nice. That's a lot of damage if you think about it. Okay, capturing another one. So what we'll do is we keep it open and use it against this one next, next attacking turn. So we actually get to the MF double summon again. So just keep it open. Okay, so they're gonna definitely gonna go for some meter, right? Okay. Hmm, is there any way I can save my Samira? Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, so they are taking Samira out. Okay, let's do this. I don't have to do this though. Okay, which one has MF? Okay, we'll keep it like this. You keep it like this and go next. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play MF. No prey. And we're gonna get two MF, and they're gonna play. Um, which one has MF? Okay, when I when I'm summon, I start. Okay, it doesn't tell you which one it captured. That's stupid. Whatever. I should. I think this is the one, right? One of them will give you double gearhead. One of them will give you double MF. And that was the gearhead one. Damn it. Okay, let's play this one. Yeah, this is stupid. They should tell us what they captured. The hell? And we'll just attack with everything. It's fine. We do too much damage as it is. It makes no difference. Yeah, six damage will damage will go through. Man, we would ha yeah, we would have actually four MFs. Damn it. Honest, honestly speaking, I thought it would be the right one because you know. Cards you play have come on the board in an order, so I thought that would be the one. Ugh. This is super unfair, man. You don't know which one they capture. Okay, I don't, I don't really like any of them. From a copy. This is a copy. Let's just take units. So in two, one cost units. I'd rather take that. More bodies for less mana. Okay. I don't want to summon and set anything for three. I'll go three roll here. Okay, somebody attacking for a little bit more is nice if you think about it. She's a quick attacker herself, okay. Champion, uh, shop and heal, obviously. Shop and priority, Dias. It's actually pretty nice, I'll take it. It's a early game focus, so I'll take it. Uh, I will take one, just one of these, just in case. You never know when that will come in clutch to take out a champion. This is going to be painful, yeah. Ash has always been painful. Ash, I consider Ash to be one of the toughest fights, boss fights. Yeah, he's also there at the top. Caitlyn. Caitlyn Ash are painful. Okay. So you play Samira. So she will never be able to attack after this point. Hmm. First we have no problem. Because we're just gonna play um this into the bullet. Everyone need plus one plus one. And we can just play this. Okay, you can play another one as well. Yeah, we could definitely play the girl. Oh, never mind. I played the uh, bullet. That was my mistake. I should have played the unit first and then the bullet. But it's still fine. First turn uh, of, I don't know, 12 damage, I guess. So I will get frozen. 
Okay, I should just flare into City Breaker. And that should be fine. I could play this one as well. Oh, I will lose one space, but it's fine. Give everything plus one plus one. I'm okay with this actually. We reset, but it's fine. Because we can just swing. Okay, we got that one. So we'll just put it here. Bullet. And they should be fine. Well, we give it here so that she strikes and gets another flare back. Not to mention the fact that we kill them. Yeah. So gear heads is an absolute like must. Super strong synergy with Samira. But like I said, first time getting it, so I have no idea it was this good. Okay, pretty nice. Yeah. Beating Ash this fast let tells you how good they are. Okay, always in my hand is something that I've always wanted on Samira. So there's no gamble of not getting her. Okay. Cards you draw cost one less or raiding party? I think cards you draw costly costless is way has a way higher value than a uh, raiding party. Yeah, I'll take cards you draw cost one less. Draw uh, item spell. I think item gets priority. Like okay, a mana flow, perfect mana flow. Yeah, cards you draw cost one well, less is way bigger value than uh, uh, raiding party because raiding party needs you to hit face to get value. Whereas, uh, so far side oration we throw it away always uh, because cards you draw cost one less can apply on multiple things if you have draw synergy. Their attacking turn, so we will not we will not play Samira this turn. I'll just play this one. So we'll take the trade. The reason why I take the trade is because uh, this guy is overall and I just want to have it for next turn. Okay. If I play this one, it makes no difference, right? Yeah, it makes no difference. Summoner will be two, it's fine. We just need one board. Oh, we need a two board space as it is anyways. We get another informal copy. Okay. Super. So what we want to do is challenger here and swing like this. Get a yeah, copy as well. Yeah, send soldier. Super. That's four in damage in. I know I we gonna uh, like right now. We will get more value from the uh, cards you draw cost one less, but it's gonna happen next turn, right? Uh, I'm gonna go next turn with this. I don't have to play anything right now. One by six, not the greatest. Get another Samira. Like a so she's gonna go for Samira for sure. Um, well, that's she's super big. Um, okay, let's pass and see what they do. Okay, they're doing like this. This is a boss fight, right? No, this is not a boss fight. Yikes! So we have to block a little. Yeah, it'll block a little. So we just split this. If I play this, I won't have board space though. So I'll just split this. Oh shit, I should have activated it to do it. Yeah, that was super bad. Okay, I'll just take this one out. You definitely should have activated the overall. And go next. We'll have Samira coming in. Sure, too. We'll do the same challenger pull with her. Okay, we actually have stun as well. Okay, let's see what they do first. Okay. Okay. So let's just at activate, do damage, and stun. It's actually super good. It's because we're gonna get another flare from them anyways. It's just fine. Even if you lose a Samira here, it's fine. Yeah. 22 damage. There we go. We made a mistake here by playing Dandy without activating Plunder, but it's fine. The deck looks super good. But I don't know how well it will do against Aeon Soul, but yeah, that's the challenge. <laughs> Actually, what they get as random champion summon is the main pain. <laughs> Always in my hand is pretty slow. Even for 5 mana, it's pretty slow. But rally for 6 mana is... 5 mana is pretty nice. This one, I don't really need it. But rally is pretty good. 6 is... Turn 6 is a little late if you think about it. It's fine, I'll take it though. I'll take a rally though. I can lower this cost if I get a good attachment. Okay, healer and item item will get priority. Okay, exactly. I was saying that reduces cost. So it reduces cost. So you can actually rally for four more. Okay, duplicate. Oh, duplicate. This is where the actual testing of the deck will be determined. Holy shit, duplicate poppy. Hey, poppy's going to turn four. I'll throw this away. Timing is fine. I just need to look where poppy is coming. Okay, somewhere is here. 
Let's go on turn 4, which is basically next next turn. Okay, so our attacking turn, we just obviously play some meter. We play everything that is created. Okay. So we don't actually have to ch give challenger, we can just give this and swing in. And we will definitely use the flare this turn so that we can boost everybody's stat line. Yeah, we'll use the flare this turn. So everyone gets plus two, plus two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I should have just played the girl. Yeah, that was my bad. Okay, Poppy's going next turn, so we're we a little bit worried about that one. Okay. 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 I'm gonna just gonna play this then. Yeah. Victory requires a sharp blade. I play bullet into the girl. These arena types look sharp. Super. I'm just gonna swing at everything and thing. This is this has way more damage at the moment. Yeah. Swing with everything. Because if Poppy doesn't have anything to boost Poppy value goes down. Yeah. Two damage to face, so we are three damage off. Very nice. Okay. So we hit that. We'll just replace the thing now with City Breaker. So they're gonna lose over time. When I say over time, I mean next turn. Unless we get another value, which technically we didn't. So puppies, there are two puppies, so we'll be super careful. So we'll just play this, it's fine. Yeah. So technically, we just throw with this and. Uh, at this point, I'll just throw him with somebody as well, it's fine. I don't want to use my gear heads. Actually, throw my gear heads as well. It's fine. So, what we do is very simple. Um, play this. Have double, double so, informal copy. Play a Minotaur against this one. Play this one. And Samira, attack. And the MF will kill it, as well as Samira will get a yeah as well. Flare as well. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is actually super nice. We got a little bit HP back as well from MF. But yeah, MF and Samira are super pretty nice together. Yeah, we are breezing through the bat. Super fast, actually. From copy of itself. I don't really need two of them, but I would definitely want draw synergy. I will take draw synergy. Uh, let's see what we can buy. Our weakest one is something that I don't really want. I can get much better value. Slow and steady. We don't actually have any slow spells in our squad. Okay, I'll take another reroll. Frostbite the strong. It's an absolute blessing. Yeah, it was super risky, but I took it. Okay, create a random emperor. I don't technically need rally. I can actually go for one. Should be good enough. I will go for two. Rally is pretty good. Considering I can lower his cost by one as well, and I can get put more copies of it in the deck. Okay, so item and spell item will get priority. Okay, so if you ever have a duplicate Azir, I don't take it. Duplicate Azir is super difficult. I died in the first run with duplicate Azir. Okay, throw away this because Farsa all version comes back in my hand. Uh, Corsair will keep it low mana. Anything that is low mana, you want to keep it. Uh, we are not attacking this turn, so that's unfortunate. So this is zero cost, but it requires plunder, right? Okay. So what I can do is I can just prep Samira and use the informal copy to block it. Yeah. Yeah. So the rule is fine by us. We we'll use the informal copy to block it. Um, I'm just gonna use my flare then, because this guy is gonna give us a flare. Just use it up. Yeah. And we have played so far two cards, I believe. Two cards, right? Two cards, so we'll just play this flare. Activate it. And now, we won't play anything, and next turn we'll just play MFM, double MFM on the board. Probably the strongest is super nice. Play MF, get an info copy of MF. Okay. I will just block it with this. Get another flare. Okay. I think lowering doesn't make a difference. You still get our players, so it's fine. Okay, more sand soldiers. Okay, so at this point, we'll just do this so that we take less face damage. I, I don't see a reason not to. With that, it's fine. Okay. 
Actually, I can just replace this one, this one. Plus one. And this one we should go to anyone. But uh, yeah, we'll get the thing. So we'll just put this one here. Get plus one, plus one, and swing. I think I should definitely give it to one of the challenges. Then I can put a put bulldoze here and kill it. But there we go, 14 damage across the board. And Aziz stays alive. Okay, Aziz doesn't stay alive. Which is super. This was an absolute crazy turn. Yeah, we could just level her up next turn. Okay. Oh, the worst one in the system. The worst power in the system. Activate this one so I can play this girl. Probably lose everything on the board. Okay, as yes, she levels up though. So she's safe. This is probably the worst power to face, like, worst spell to face when you're facing Azir. Pass. Obviously, they're gonna swing and kill everything on our side. I oh, will definitely block these two as well. Okay, two damage not the worst. Another flare? I think playing these are more valuable than playing that one. So we'll flare and swing. We do six. We actually have oh super actually, flare and swing. Can we get a rally as well? This is like, this was actually clutch. We could do. We could like look at how much damage we're doing and we're gonna rally again. Who gets to rally? Yeah. Nah, we will be a little short. We are one mana short from doing a triple rally. Okay, what matters the most is the first few turns. This gives us portals. Portal is more valuable than anything. But you have a chance of making our hand, uh, our uh, board clocky if you play it at the start. Portals coming onto the board automatically is a little painful if you think about it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna skip the portal this time. No fan of portals this 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 game, which I normally always take. Okay, I'm gonna throw away that dude more than yeah, throw with this dude more than him for three HP. I don't really mind, but that card coming into my hand at a, at a given moment where I might might want something else more valuable in my opinion. So you just throw this away. Okay, MF. Okay, I'll keep one MF and I'll keep one this. I don't actually I can keep the rally as well because even sequence is actually pretty nice. Two three two three. Uh, I mean somebody is there. Yeah, Samira is here. We are, are attacking turn. We're definitely gonna play Samira. Do we have board space for anything else though? Actually, we have them. We can play this one as well. Yeah, we can play this one as well. And just play this. Flare. So everyone gets plus one, plus one. And look at the damage we are doing on turn one. Yeah, so turn one damage is 24. Super nutty. Yeah, keep this for the next turn. Okay, I'll just keep for the time being. Yeah, because Zed is coming next turn, I'm gonna use it against him. I can use this against Zed. Okay. So, just Zed, I'll just do. Ooh, a double stat line. I could for, keep forgetting. Okay, listen, let's just flare. Do damage into stun. That should be even a thousand times better. Okay. Okay. Um, MF is pretty nice. No prey. And kill is also nice here. She will level up. So we can swing and rally next round. Because we have that dude. Yeah, this dude. Citrus Courier. So we just skip. Go and swing. Obviously, send that one after that one. That turn after that one. And swing in. And that should do it, yeah. And we have... The hit will give one less uh, cost to this one, and we can rally as well. So this is super nutty. Yeah, this is actually a very, very efficient deck at the moment. I've never performed this fast, this well, climbing this fast. A pretty nice. Couple of games more. Capture on summer is disgusting, and for the fact that I will always have her on turn turn one. Okay, we just go next. So, okay, overrun everybody. Oh, even more gear, gear heads. 
the deck the, the yeah will get super flooded though man if i if i could cut cut a power dude i'll take overman then overman is more valuable at the moment than more gear hits if i didn't have the emperor dias i would have taken more gear hits the dias is uh, dias is making it more difficult because dias uh, dias will take one space i can i can't i cannot summon any form a copy of it man i shouldn't have taken dias okay first throw her throw her away because she comes back into the hand so you don't want her mf is fine these are also pretty good Okay, their attacking turn. Okay. What's today's list? I'll just play an MF. Just do this. It's it from a copy. I don't have to worry about it, anything. All I have over him is uh, man. If I didn't have the dias, I would hundred percent take the yeah. A triple, a quadruple, uh, like quadruple uh, gear hits. Gear hits, right? Yeah, gear hit. So you just play this capture. Okay. okay, Brom. Okay, so all uh, the rules should be fine. We'll play Challenger on Samira. We're still not at th three, yeah, right? Okay, we're not still at three. So we'll just replace this one here. And everyone get plus one, plus one. And then swing. And then do this. Uh, bullet as well. Okay, yeah, that should do it. 22 damage on first turn. The portal comes a little late. Sutra Scary is actually there next turn. That's super hilarious. Oh, that's level 2. What about that, dude? That's actually pretty nutty if you think about it. It's fine. The fact that I couldn't get on mana bag is also pretty nice. Okay, Jen is here. Could just play Rally. Oh shit, you have to hit Blunder to get Rally. That was just dumb of me. Okay. This guy's pretty big, so I want to keep. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. They're gonna get traded if you do it in any other manner. Yeah, that was very, 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 very stupid of me. Yeah, I just lost so much damage there. So what happened is that I, I forgot that you have to Blunder to Rally. Five damage is fine. B. I need two more plays. Should I do two more plays? That's a question, though. I can actually. Playing six cards next turn is quite unlikely, but that's fine. Just when you thought you'd seen it all. It's not only liberation, right? Yeah, it's level up. I think even if we swing, we're gonna do a lot of damage. A frostbite. Definitely gonna play with scouts. It's fine. Swing in. The two damages alone here. So just do this one here. That's kill, yeah. That's kill right there. And we have stun as well. Super. Yeah, that was a mistake by me, like a very bad mistake. It's it lowered its cost, so I thought that plunder activated. Okay, we take five damage. The reason why five damage is important because from this point on almost you can't technically heal. Attack for free is not the greatest. Portal is also not the greatest. I can take it attack for free, I guess. Oh I think whirling death. Helps us yeah, helps us do a massive damage if we can make us all of our units have overroom, that's why. Try fear and might, not the greatest. But might as well take it. It's not like I can do anything about anything. Okay. But this can be played for free. I take two of them. It gives something epic across the board. So it's not actually the worst. Playing it for free is also pretty crazy. Okay, level up. Level up deep. Tracker might will not be useful because you will never be, be able to activate it on anything, I think. I don't think any I have anything that is five, man. Five, yeah. Yeah, foot or nothing actually. Actually, this is actually nice. I'll keep it. I'll keep these two. The reason I'm keeping these is because I'm gonna rally. And Dandy is next turn. Get Samira, anyways. It, it's okay, fine. We're not playing Samira this turn. We're playing Samira next turn. But clutch MF right there, though. Yeah. 
Okay. Just play MF. Heal up a bit. They're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna play somewhere. Capture it, actually. Yeah, the capturing somewhere is pretty nice. Now we'll just play Samira. It's pretty nice. Even if they kill it, it's fine. I don't really mind. Even if they kill it, it's fine. Okay. The question is who captured it? Didn't the informal copy capture it? Oh, the informal copy didn't. Okay. So let's just do it like this. Challenger here. Swing. Bullet I don't want to use because when I do, I, I do the strike, this thing's cost goes down. I could do another rally across the board. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Yeah, the, our job is to attack as much as possible. Okay, so we should definitely rally in my opinion, yeah. Definitely rally. Get more damage in. Even if MF, MF dies, it's a pretty good value for me. Even if MF dies. Because it's gonna get traded there, yeah. They're not letting it die. We're maximizing damages across the board. And this is where the thing is going to become problematic. You saw that uh, we did all our thing and they're still alive. And that is when the problem starts. When they stay, stay alive even after we fired everything. Okay. Technically, they're not doing anything. Okay. Hmm. A couple of things I can do. I can do flare. Play this one. Which I'll play this one right here. The gearhead will die, unfortunately. Okay, well, that was a weird pull. Unfortunately, we have to block, or else we take 10 damage and... Okay, fine, we'll take 10 damage and carry on. But the reason why it's difficult is because you... There's no healing point from this one onwards. Play this one. Or we can play this one as well. It's fine. Super. So we bullet swing. That thing is five damage now. Okay. Anchor. Yeah, that's a little overkill. We can just do this. Yeah, that should kill them. It's super unlucky that they are actually hitting face with that thing. Yeah, we took 15 damage here. But it's all right. We got them. Oh, 15 damage to face is gonna be painful because we carry over and no no heal until we finish the entire path nah no okay let's see what we can get more stats on this guy is pretty nice this girl is pretty nice okay mana for perfect mana flow okay this is gonna be a little problematic because this deck has uh kill spells pink spells to be exact kill spells pink spells small pink spells okay and also we are not getting the attack token that's also bad for us I'll throw away the entire hand obviously so, okay, the rally is pretty nice. Samir is also pretty here. Okay, we won't play Samir this turn, obviously. Okay, so we'll just activate the plunder and go next. Uh, yeah, oh man, both of them are dying. So, okay, this is going to be non-gear head run, technically. Okay, so they can't technically play that. And go next. Or should drop us one less. It's pretty nice. I'll take it. Um, in that case, this summons one, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's play this one first. Yeah, let's play this one first. So that, because Samira captures, right? So you want to play her after units are played. Yeah. So they do this because after units are played. So we'll just play this now. Now both of them are going to get captured. Uh, it hits to the spell shield, so not worried. Okay. Okay, so now can we... Okay, okay, did we activate plunder? We didn't. So this will activate plunder, right? Yeah. Yeah, now we'll swing and we have a rally ready. Actually, we can do this, yeah. Let's not attack with this one because if, I, if this one dies, they give us uh, their unit back, right? So you want to attack with the things first? 
and then we'll swing with this one with rally to maximize damage oh should we actually had yes as well i don't actually see it it's fine so what we'll do is we do this and but this time i will attack with a scout and swing at everything yeah this is actually super there we go turn to otk super actually it's a one turn see that's the reason why we didn't attack with the thing because they would have had a blocker if we did and super the deck looks pretty polished i'm gonna lie we took a lot of damage though like a samira two, with two more i will take it dude she's gonna attack for six alone and she has a normal oh unyielding determination an absolute test of a tech unyielding determination is the toughest variation one of the toughest to pick it an unyielding determination is another level so this will keep the rally obviously unyielding determination that means you have to finish the game super fast so you need the rally so that uh, yeah it's, it's pretty stun is pretty good as well they're attacking I think the best one would be to play just play this setting. They know okay. okay. So just go next. Gangplank is here. Samira will capture both of them. Samira captures both of them. That should hold us the ground on. Oh! Oh no! Wait, what just happened? Why did her capture came out? Uh, I'm super confused. Okay, anyways. Uh, okay. Challenger. Needs to be given here. I actually understand. Why did both of the captures come out? One of uh, each of them captured separate things. I'm super confused. Super, super confused. Okay. I have to maximize damage at the start. Stun here. Definitely want to take out the battle. God knows what's going to come from the other side. Yeah, so I'm super confused. Uh, this is some interaction problem because I don't know why did both of them come out. Only one is supposed to come out. Okay, so this is going to eight. If I don't play it, they're gonna play it next turn, right? Um, yeah. So let's just might, might as well take this one out. Yeah, taking that one is super important. Or else this, or else Eren so comes out faster. Frostbite the strongest means that gets frostbitten. Yeah. Okay, two damage is one is, is doing one damage to everything, right? Or not two damage to everything. Yeah, two damage to everything. Okay. Okay, so, okay she's stunning us as well. Ah oh, damn, that means there's no rally this turn. Okay, that's super okay. We are dying. Yeah, we are technically dying. Yeah, we're dying, we're dying regardless of what you do. Make this interesting for me. How much? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're dying regardless of how we're doing it. Because this thing is uh, killing us. This then this together is killing us. That's painful. Yeah, says so that's death regardless of what we do. Yeah, that's super unlucky. I don't know how the interaction worked, by the way. They, uh, we have two Samiras. I guess one of them captured the battle. Wait, do we no, we st we captured the strongest. Oh man, the Triferian might screw us over. Yeah, the Triferian might screw us over. Okay, it's fine. One loss. We're expecting, yeah. Unyielding determination is no joke. It's been another level. The Triferian might absolutely F us. I throw this away, obviously. I'm gonna keep Dandy because Dandy has a draw. And rocks cost one less, so. Alright, I can turn at this this turn. So we're definitely gonna play. Uh, okay, let's definitely play this one first. Oh shit, dude, we missed one of our Samiras now. 
No. Yeah, we missed damage there. Damn it. I thought this was the one that gives you one, not two. A swing in. It's not the worst. The best power would be if we could replace the Trifurian Might with Rally every round. That would be absolute clutch. Okay. Okay, it's scale. Hmm? Okay, they're technically slotting now. Flare? Should I take Flare, dude? Flare is gonna be useful next round. Let's do this then. Hit face. Play dandy. Yeah. Emperor, yeah. Dias is the one to off the chart. We don't really need it. Oh, eight damage rate. Oh, taking it. The game's either gonna be won or lost next round, anyways. Okay. How much is that? Two by three? Two by three. We need one more. Let's just play this one. It gives us an epic at least across the board. Yeah. So it is 4x6. There's no way I can level her up. Jarvan. That is actually pretty nice. We just swing. Challenger here. So this is nice. Cataclysm, so, yeah. Okay, silence is coming in. So that means no EI yeah, is coming to this turn at least. Oh, we didn't activate plunder of his. Okay. Oh, we did, we did. He got silence. And that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. Five damage. Yeah. I have to play this one, right? Oh, Trifair Might. Just forgot about that, dude. Hey, that's good. Activate Trifair Might as well. Victory requires a sharp blade. Super. You can flare on it. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna be super close, guys. It's gonna be super close. This is glorious. Okay. One rally. We just need one. Okay. Oh, no. They got Cyan. No. They got an overrun, dude. Okay, okay. I think we still have a chance. Uh, do we have a chance? Stand against me. Four. I think we do. Okay. Is there any easier way to do it, dude? I think this is the best way to do it. Silences. Oh my god. They got us with the silence. Ah, oh, super unlucky. Dude, we had them, by the way. We had them next, next swing. That was super unlucky. Uh no. Uh okay. Anyways, it was a good run. Okay, so the four star and soul path not done with our two star Samira. Yeah, we were. This run was super good. Yeah, the Trifian might was a little painful, but we could have done it with if we had rally. Okay, champion achievement part discussion time. So the two achievement I have on my uh Samira is refill your spell mana, and uh, when you summon uh when you, the round starts you summon your yes, refill your spell mana, and when you summon her she gets spell mana. So she's basically a spell mana based attachment uh style because we play a lot of cards especially around spells so these helps a lot and the mana you're getting mana return means you don't have to worry about banking mana and stuff like that okay then i gave her two pick pick access so she's a two uh, two mana six two and of course when she's she's summoned she captures strongest and of course far side oration she'll always be drawn at the start if you don't have her in your hand to make it more consistent and that's about it moving on to the powers uh try fear in mind obviously the one power that didn't work well with the squad so i would Obviously, recommend you not to go for Trifear and Might. You can go for Rally every round. It's much better, in my opinion. Of course, our allies of our own give, lets us do more damage. And of course, Frostbite the Strongest helps us stall the game. Cards you draw cost one is pretty nice because majority of them are small cards. You draw, it's even less, so you can play it even better. We didn't get very good draws in the last fight against Syrian. So in both of the fights, in my opinion, we got much better draws as we are climbing. But yeah, last fight is always painful, especially around Soul. Uh, the next one is Game Start, em Star Emperor, uh, Summon Emperor Dias. Not the greatest, in my opinion. I shouldn't have taken this. It it, it kind of yeah, handicapped a lot of our uh, 
combos so yeah don't take it even if it's acro based don't take it unless you have raiding party raiding party would give it more value but uh the way we were we would have done much better if we didn't get it of course summon when you summon an ally summon exactly from copy of it pretty nice makes it more aggressive because we have all aggressive squads in the squad of course game starts summon to um gear has absolutely clutch absolutely crazy power to have on summon a squad and of course summon has to support every game such you can mana and when you play your third card each round grant allies plus one plus one of course uh this is some your one star power the first time you damage the enemy nexus each round the next card you play costs one less of course this is uh legend rank 20 power game start draw champion not specifically come some at any champion in your deck you get the first draw a free champion draw at the start helps a lot because sometimes you never draw any champion this helps prevents that one at least for a little bit and of course game start you heal your nexus for two that's about it